Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Anonymous, the author, uh, back with another video for you guys. It appears my boy, the guy I endorsed on my podcast, Andrew Yang, uh, has dropped out of the Democratic race tier. <laughs> um, it looks like that he has officially stepped down. His numbers weren't where he wanted to be. Uh, I did see earlier that he had downsized his campaign, so this does make sense as to uh, why he was downsizing. He was ready to step out. So uh, that's a bummer. I was really feeling his... Um, his concepts and his ideas on universal basic income, um, on thorium, on uh, climate change, I really liked his ideas, not just the universal basic income, even though I do feel like the VAT tax is going to be a big staple of, um, for him bringing it up. I feel like that that is going to be um, an important policy moving forward in this country, since we do have these huge tech firms that uh, do not pay taxes, and stating that they even backed Andrew Yang, saying that they were up for a VAT tax. So. If he doesn't win the nomination, some uh, Democrat along the line will eventually uh, instate some kind of VAT tax, if not a Republican, because it is unfair that these companies don't get to pay their, pay, pay their fair share um, in this country. Like, hey, I pay taxes. Well, you need to pay taxes, too. Well, just pay your fair share. Um, yeah. I'm not for increasing taxes on the rich, which is why I thought that the VAT tax made perfect sense. I thought a wealth tax didn't make much sense uh, because it makes no sense to tax the wealth tax the wealthy because they'll just hide their income. That's exactly what they've been doing. Why would they not continue to do that when you force them to pay more taxes? Uh, but taxing their business is a completely different entity. Uh, businesses have been getting tax breaks forever, and now these tech companies don't even pay taxes. So why, why keep giving them tax breaks? They're not paying anything anyway. So yeah, shout out to Andrew Yang. Shout out to his ideas. Uh, I guess it's official, guys. I am a Bernie bro, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I am, uh, if you guys haven't already figured it out, I am a Democrat, um, blue, obviously, um, so yeah, I guess I've got no other choice than endorse Bernie, I don't like Elizabeth Warren, I don't like Pete Buttigieg, I don't like uh, Mike Bloomberg, I don't like a lot of the other Democrats running, so I'm a Bernie bro, uh, go Bernie, I got you bro, um, so I guess I'll be doing some political reactions since I don't know that much about Bernie Sanders. I know that he is a progressive. I know that he's a Democrat, a liberal, um, and he's all for um, being left, but not crazy left like uh, ALC and all that. So let's just watch this really quick thing uh, for Andrew Yang saying he will support whoever the Democratic nominee is. Build off big nights in New Hampshire. Others are dropping out of the race entirely. Well, I am the math guy, and it is clear tonight from the numbers that we are not going to win this race. Mm. Joining us now is former presidential candidate Andrew Yang. Andrew, thank you. Thank you for being here. It, it's never easy on a morning when you make such a tough decision. We appreciate your time. For sure. Well, I appreciate you, Poppy and Jim. Thank you. Uh, it was a tough night for many people, but we're really proud of the race that we ran. and. Uh, we're excited to keep making progress on the issues yeah. that so many Americans have come together to say that, you know, we, we need to, to actually uh, improve people's lives here on the ground. Yeah. You know, I saw someone, I was at the bookstore yesterday in Brooklyn, and a, a man was in there with his daughter, and I, as he was walking out of the store, he had a math button on the mm -hmm. back of his hat. And it made me, made me think about you, obviously. You've changed, uh, I think, the party. You changed the race. What do you think you left it with in this process? <laughs> well, I hope one of the big lessons that the other Democratic candidates take from my campaign is that we can't just run against Trump. We have to run against the yeah. reasons that got him elected, that it's he's a symptom of a disease that's been no building sense. up in our communities for years. And we have to get to the like harder Trump work of the curing the here. disease. Too many Americans do not feel like there's a place for them in the 21st century economy that is transforming before our eyes. Now we need to start rebalancing the most extreme See, that, way I mean, take our economy I mean, in the history about, of the world about policy and put more and, uh, the country, economic about resources directly into families' hands. Okay, you're out of the race now. Who was the Democratic candidate best like, I able I didn't even tune to do that? The, uh, to, to, to I didn't counter not just the Trump himself, but Trump the message in the general election. Are you endorsing anyone? thought Trump was going to get convicted. Well, uh, right now we're off. still like, bro, what are you doing? Uh, obviously like reflecting on our, our own campaign. Uh, I'm already on the record saying I will support whoever the Democratic nominee is. And this process is very important for voters to make their voices heard uh, and see what the I'm, direction I'm of the party is. Point. I don't know uh, if so I'm no endorsement. the Democratic nominee um, is, but right I am now, right though, now, though, other candidates have been reaching out to me over the last number of hours, which I appreciate a great deal. Uh, Andrew, I think... Uh, 
Many people discounted you way too early. Many people didn't think you'd make it this far. Are you going to run again? That's the question. Well, certainly the problems that animated my campaign are not going away. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not going away. <laughs> you know, the young guys <laughs> not going away. Man. So the plan is to keep on pushing the ideas of this campaign across the finish line. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're not going anywhere. And I would certainly not rule out uh, running for office again. Okay. All right, uh, Yang. I'm gonna have to. Okay, the Yang. In the I'm, party. I'm gonna keep following uh, you. You, Brett. you have your progressive candidates running. Sanders, of course, winning the, the primary in, in New Hampshire. You have more moderate candidates, and Buttigieg performing well yeah, in both Iowa and New Hampshire. Obama. Who gives Democrats the yeah. best chance? Uh, what, what kind of candidate? A left-leaning candidate Paul or Paul more of a moderate? To, to, to address the very problem you're Democrat, talking about. If you're gonna be left, again, be left. Don't be this. Not just to go out. I mean, if you're moderate, that's okay. But if you're gonna run on the basis that I'm and the forces that elected be progressive. Don't be. Well, I, I, I genuinely I, think I, that, that, that the, in the middle, spectrum so that really we've I do, I didn't come up the with for left-leaning versus moderate, uh, capitalism, socialism, the uh, entire yeah, I'm, thing I'm is really Sanders, out man. of date. Oh, he won um, We it. never anticipated wanted, uh, that technology would come along that could do the work of I, wow, thousands of people so was Biden. Uh, in a matter okay. of minutes. Uh, there's a friend so of really mine just who Sanders, said Buttigieg something I, I, I thought was really apt. He said, we never knew that capitalism was going to get eaten by its son technology. Um, so to me, the labels are not very useful. We have to try and push our market economy to a point where it's actually built around making us and our families stronger and healthier and not maximizing the bottom lines of these companies. I don't know if that's a moderate uh, centrist idea or a left-leaning idea, but that to me is the future. Yep. I agree. Andrew? How do you feel about the bottom of a ticket? I think this will be the do first be poli like, politician candidate? I actually follow, like that I actually like. It's crazy. Uh, well, I would certainly be. I, get insane. I mean, Sanders uh, always been cool. Serve as someone's running mate. I'm already on the record too, saying if I can solve these problems as someone's vice president, a member uh, of an administration, uh, we just need to start solving these problems for the next generation. And I'm happy to, to do my part. I'm also happy to do my part to campaign for the nominee and beat Donald Trump in the fall. Mm -hmm. Andrew Yang, thank you for your time, and, and also just want to say thank you to your wife mm -hmm. um, for coming out a few weeks ago so bravely in that interview with Ardana Bash about what she endured and, and the sexual assault. I think she helped countless women in this country, so our thanks to her for her bravery as well. We'll see you soon. Well, thank you both. See you back in New York, and I'll pass along, let along to Evelyn Poppy. Okay then, Yang. All right, man. Uh, yeah, that was Andrew Yang, bro. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I really do like it. Uh, sh oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why that where that came from. Uh, but yeah, I really like it, guys. Uh, shout out to Andrew Yang. I'm glad he's not leaving the politics alone. He's still kind of delving in that realm, chill stun, chill, still trying to do something positive uh, for the country. So I got to support that. I mean, we're all in this together. Even though I am left, I'm all about, hey, you're an American first. You know, we all share this country. We all might have different views, but hey, we can all sit at the table and eat. You know what I mean? Uh, just because you're Republican, you libertarian, you, you know, independent, you whatever you identify as does not mean that um, we can't have a conversation and we can't debate. I love debating with people. But um, if you're going to bring up ridiculous, stupid rhetoric and lies, then I don't want to, we don't need to talk about it. But if you're going to come with some hard hitting facts and, you know, talk me down as a leftist, hey, what can I say? If they facts, they facts. So I'm all for, that's all I do all day is I watch um, videos from people that they say, you know, are these politicians they call Republicans and there's so much beef on the left and the right it's like if you have a good idea you have a good idea I don't care where it comes from I identify like I said I'm from the left but I can still see some good ideas from the right I'm from Ohio we're red right now we're red we're, can, we're usually blue um, but I mean I don't that doesn't change who I am I see Trump I got a neighbor who has a Trump uh, poster and that doesn't really uh, affect me at all uh, like I said you support you support your party is your party and you back your party um, but yeah, Trump is not the issue and the reason that the country is the way it is. It's not, he's not the cause for the racial issues. He's not the cause for a lot of the problem. He's just the face of it, if, you, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, shout out to Andrew Yang. I look forward to seeing him continue his uh, political run, trying to see where he goes next. I saw an article somewhere that said he was thinking about uh, doing, um, maybe they said that in the video and I missed it, about running for the mayor, uh, New York's office. So that would be dope. Um, I'm just not for Bloomberg. I wasn't for Trump, and I'm, I'm surely not for Bloomberg. Bloomberg is essentially a left Trump. Bloomberg has been a Republican in the past. He has, it's not like he's going to get in there and just focus on people. He's going to do whatever's best for his bottom line. So I don't believe that Bloomberg is, uh, 
I just don't believe that he's for the people the way he says he is. Uh, he's just like everybody else. He's out for, he's just like Trump. I mean, he's literally, he's literally the left version of Trump. And if I wasn't for Trump, why would I be for Bloomberg? Um, so yeah, go Bernie, uh, go Yang, um, go left, go right, go America. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Thanks for checking out the video today. Uh, before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, follow me across social media. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Don't leave me. Uh, thanks, guys, for checking me out. Have a good one. Peace. Picture of